trailers are rocking down the road and they're coming in here, they're parking one by one, coming out, having a coffee. We get coffee set up, donuts and coffee cake, and the whole neighborhood gets involved in this. The day of the ride is exciting. See, how many guys have we got with us? Wait a minute, we got to count this situation. When you come back to the barn, you had a wonderful hot hamburgers, hot dogs, salads. You sit down and you go, oh. it was safe, it was fun, and it, it just, it, it's just a whole lot of fun, and we've raised good money for the organization. Dorian Philly? Holy mouth. Very, very satisfying feeling. And you're tired. But that's okay because it was all for a very good cause. Make people aware <laughs> of what's happening at Hacienda de los Milagros. Animals that are still connected to living and could survive very well in the wild know what they need and they know where to get it if they have access. And we've got fences so they don't have access. At Hacienda de los Milagros, we provide lifetime care for animals in need, uh, primarily equines, horses, burros, mules, um, that have really no good alternative. trying to concentrate on the ones that are physically challenged or emotionally challenged to the point where um, they're not going to be, quote, usable for most humans. Who are you learning things from? I've told you, you don't learn from Uncle Peanut. The processes that we go through here to deal with the animals that have issues, first of all, many of them are physical, but they always have an emotional cause or an emotional connection. Often the burrows will, will leave their bodies on their own. But um, he made the decision to stay. We were supporting him with vibrational remedies, which are homeopathics in um, water that's had an electrical current to keep it in perfect suspension. The emotional stuff is sometimes takes a little longer, but it's a very, very simple solution for that. It's immediate, unconditional love. This is my brother, this is my biggest brother. I've always been in love with him, I hadn't met him yet. And that's, that's really true, but that, they pick up on that pretty quick. And they will shed an awful lot of things themselves. We operate strictly on donations. We're a public charity, we're a 501c3. Most of our money right now is from individuals. Individual donations in 2009 we're down about $100,000. Operating costs are about $23,000 a month, about half of which is feed, almost half of which is feed. Insurance, utilities, maintenance. It's the horses, the mules, and the old burrows, the ones at that very front pen, and the one, the pen we were just in, get these supplements. They're in an age where their teeth aren't good enough. The biggest things that would be helpful for us, very helpful for us, uh, if anybody's sitting with a four or six uh, hot walker in their backyard they're not using. We're not bathing the horses as often because if you turn them back out, they're as dirty as when you bathe them. Sometimes they're helpful with dealing with injuries too. We could certainly use a, a used tractor if that had a bucket on it. We have a lot of people that love the manure The vision for the sanctuary, which has come from the animals, um, I'm not sure that's the only place, but um, we're, and we're starting to move on it now. In addition to providing the lifetime care for the animals, we need to keep building new ways to heal humans using the animals. A lot of these animals would do that every minute of the day, giving them the chance. 
and we're, we're constantly trying to find groups to bring out here. And we've had some incredible success stories doing it, just as much with just being out on the ground with them and being open. I would love to get the PTSD guys from the U.S. Vet Center here. Animals have millions of things we need to learn. Um, and this has to happen for their world to get better and for our world to get better. If we, if we mistreat an animal, we're mistreating ourselves. If we mistreat anything, if we, if we poison the water, if we burn down, you know, cut down every last tree, we hurt ourselves because the only difference is the form. And actually, I have a title from them. I'm everybody's brother. Yeah. Uh -huh.